Hello there, I'm Natalie Haynes and welcome to this, the first in a new set of videos which I'm going to make this autumn to coincide with the publication of my new non-fiction book, Pandora's Jar, uh, which is about women in Greek myth. Now I know it's a radical departure for those of you who've only read my novels. Where does she get her ideas from? Shh, don't be unhelpful. Um, in particular, I wanted to tell the story of 10 women in Greek myth um, who I felt had been unfairly marginalised or monstered. Their stories had been lost or forgotten um, or distorted through a couple of thousand years um, of history and society, which haven't been wholly pro-women, let's say, because we all enjoy me using litotes for comic effect. Um, and so I wanted to look at um, the way these women's stories have been shaped. And often they are much more interesting in the ancient world than they've kind of been filtered to become to us. So to take the title character, Pandora doesn't have a box. The single most famous thing about Pandora in the modern world is that she's got a box. Ancient world, no box. If you look at visual representations of Pandora, um, where she's painted or sculpted, she is never shown with any kind of receptacle at all. She's always shown in the act of being created uh, by all the gods, each of whom um, gives her a different attribute. Uh, people often translate her name as Pandora, all gifted, the girl with all the gifts. Um, uh, because all the gods give her a, an attribute, but actually it's active. Uh, passive would be, I guess, Pandosa, I think that's right. Um, but Pandora, she's all giving. So she is, um, even when we call her the girl with all the gifts, we, we turn her from being someone active and beneficent to somebody passive who just receives things. Um, but she doesn't have a box in the ancient world. In some versions, although by no means all, uh, of her story, she has a jar. Hesiod tells her story twice, once with the jar, once without the jar. In some versions of the story, the jar is full of bad things, which Pandora lets into the world. In some versions, full of good things, which she lets into the world. In some versions of her story, including a version by Aesop out of Fables fame, her husband opens the jar. It's interesting, isn't it, how these things change? There are gonna be 10 videos to come, uh, including a proper one on Pandora. This is just a little intro for you. Um, so I hope I'll see you, I guess it'll probably be every week. That does tend to be the way we do things. Um, next time. So see you next week. Bye for now.